previously on Anacostia. Get your hands off of me. Selena, what's wrong with you? Don't touch me. Don't touch me. Are you going to disappoint me? No, Ashley. Then why not? Because I love you, Ashley. And I love you. Firstly, my assistant is here giving you paperwork that I didn't authorize. Secondly, I knew nothing about it. And Early to my company. Now, you've taken care of it for the last year, but I'm back now. Okay, is there some sort of a problem? Mm, apparently there is. Apparently you have a problem with my pussy. Excuse me? My dog. My dog is named Pussy. My husband told me that you had some words for him. Damn! Ooh, it was something I forgot to do. Backstabbing bitch. <laughs> oh, no, sweetie. That is one battle you ain't ready for. Oh, <laughs> oh. Sorry. 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 Shh. Shh. No, no, baby. No, baby. You didn't kill her. See? <laughs> I knew you wouldn't disappoint me. This episode of Anacostia is sponsored by the On Floor Gallery of Washington, D.C., bringing arts and culture east of the river. Also sponsored by 3LWTV.com. Always live in your light. And now, Anacostia, episode nine. Where am I? Why are you doing this to me? He's not going to answer you. So you shouldn't waste your breath. Help! Somebody help me! Let me be somebody help me! You can scream all you want. No one's going to hear you. Why are you doing this to me? What have I done to you? Why? What do I want? I want what can never be replaced. What was taken from me? What you took from me? What are you talking about? I can take anything from you. What do you know about Mr. Sims? Oh, all in due time. All in due time, my dear. But don't look so sad. You're about to have company join you. Go! What, what are you, what are you doing? What are you doing? Where, where is he going? Selena. I'm many things, but I'm no monster. No one should ever have to die alone. So, before I kill you, I'm going to let you watch someone you love. Stuff. It's on the invitation. But I was asking you. And I answered. How long are you going to act like this? I don't know what you're talking about. You've been giving me the cold shoulder for a couple days now. I mean, if something's bothering you, you could just sit down and we could talk about 
like we sat down and talked about you taking back your company? I knew that's what it was. I mean, why is it even such a big deal? I'm back. I'm just trying to get things back to normal. Normal? Like you coming back from the dead, taking shit over? I'm not trying to take anything over, baby. I'm just trying to get things back right. That's all. Things were right before. Before when? What? Before I left or before I came back? This is pointless. I'm going to get dressed. I'm not done talking to you. Well, I am. Sean, fuck getting dressed. Listen, why are you always running? I'm trying to talk to you and you're always walking away. Why are you talking to me like that? Because you just won't listen. I'm trying to talk to you and you're walking away. You always walk away. Well, what do you want me to do, Julian? Pretend to be dead? Isn't that what you do when the going gets tough? I sat on that couch for three months after you died. I couldn't move. I couldn't eat. I didn't do anything. All I did was cry every day and night. And all that time, you were out there alive. Listen, I know it was hard to- You don't know shit, okay? Because if you did, you wouldn't have left. But I came back. Yeah, you're back. You came back, and things are just perfect, aren't they? Should I have stayed away? You tell me. We're gonna be late. I can drive myself. You go ahead. Okay. You don't like it, do you? Actually, I... I think it's beautiful. You think so? Yes. Don't you? It's okay. You're very critical. I have to. It's mine. It's yours. Yes. Hey, what if I said I didn't like it? <laughs> well, then um, I'll have to escort you out of here. <laughs> <laughs> well, then I'm glad I like it. So am I. Um, it makes it a whole lot easier now to ask you out now. Ask me out? Yes, um, only when a man sees a beautiful woman, he asks her out. Look, I even throw into painting. Like an incentive, two for one special. No, no, no. Um, we're in a recession. <laughs> That's very sweet of you, mm -hmm. Mr. Oh, sorry, how rude of me. Dante. Dante Reed? It's a pleasure to meet you, Dante. Pleasure to meet you as well. I'm Mia. Beautiful name. Thank you. Mm -hmm. Um, I really appreciate the offer. Mm -hmm. But it's really not a good time for me. Uh, bad breakup? Well, kinda. I mean, my husband was killed recently and the police thought that I did it, but mm -hmm. it was actually turned out to be my lawyer who was in love with me and it was just a big mess. And I'm pretty sure after hearing all of that, no, you no, want to no, no. turn around and run away. <laughs> not at all. Actually, I'm attracted to danger. Oh, well, I've had my share. Mm -hmm. Have you? So, on that note, I'm not saying no. Well, I don't agree with you on that, but I can respect that. I don't agree. But tell you what, let me go get the paperwork and I still give you the painting. Oh, no, I, I can't. I insist. Um, I'll be back. Let me get the paperwork, okay? Okay. Black Widow strikes again. I'm not dealing with you today. Poor, poor Mia. Gets my brother killed. Has one in jail. And now you just <laughs> ran off a struggling artist. <laughs> Will you ever get a good one? Here's the paperwork, Mia. Um, just need you to come front. Thank you, Dante. Mm -hmm. You know what? 
Mm -hmm. On second thought, I think I will take you up on that offer. Oh, really? When? How's tonight? Oh. Tonight, um, gotta work. <laughs> what do you do? Retail waste <laughs> management? <laughs> Actually, I'm... Excuse me, Dr. Mm -hmm. Reeve, you're ready for your signature. Okay. Doctor? Yes, doctor. I need a help out tomorrow. Oh, uh, tomorrow's fine. All right, you have uh, information on the paper? Uh, can you contact? Excuse me, ladies. You were saying? Did you make the arrangements? Everything's set up. We ain't got to worry about nothing. Good. I don't think I need to tell you, Cliff, how important this is. Everything needs to be precise. Down to the last detail. And it will be. Don't worry about a thing. I got you covered. Don't worry about it. Here they come right now. Miss Johnson, Miss Johnson. It's always a pleasure to see you. Jack, I'm pleased. I take it you can accomplish the task at hand. It's what I do best. Huh? At least second best. Love to show you the first sometimes. You better watch your motherfucking mouth, oh, man. Oh, what? Huh? What? Oh, what? What you gonna do? Oh, what? Cliff. Oh, do? what? That's enough. Stand down. Yeah, Cliffy. Stand down. Jack. I manage the hordes, okay? I'm not one of them. Do yourself a favor and never disrespect me like that again. My apologies. Now, we both have jobs to complete. Q got this under control. That's right, I got it covered. That's a job for us that's uh, six feet tall. Yeah, I got you six yeah, feet, okay. motherfucker. Okay. okay, okay, okay. What's up, what's up? Yeah, okay, come on. Okay. Please. Q, Q. Please, Cliff. You will call me when it's done. Uh, Q will send you pictures. Even better. Thank you, Jack. No. Thank you. Let's bounce, Q. Whatever, young boy. Get your shit together. I some unprofessional motherfuckers, I tell you. Do you think he suspects anything? Please. He is so consumed with his own vengeance, he can't even see the blatantly obvious. In any event, it ain't our concern. Let's go. I got a funeral plan. This piece here is called The Black Hole, Del Otro Lado de Dios, by Gustavo Diaz Sosa. It's a lovely piece. Baby, I like this. I think it's perfect for the house. Hell no. These paintings in this place are too expensive, Lamont. And you ain't got no money like that. We can go straight to Marshall's and get a painting for half the price. Um, well, yeah. the money does go to charity. Who is she? I don't know her. Why do we have to give her money? Doesn't Jerry Lewis do that? But she did say that she was coming. Okay. All right, well, where's the restroom? It's down the hall. All right, excuse me. I really hope he and Selena work things out. Oh, uh, yeah, me too. Where's Sean? Well, he decided to drive himself today, so. Why would he do that? What? Are the two of you still having problems? <laughs> problems? That's another statement. You know what, Julian, why don't the two of you just sit down and talk? I mean, work all this out with the business and everything. See, I tried that, Mia, and it just doesn't work. He doesn't even sleep in the bed anymore. And if he would just sit his hot-tempered ass down, then maybe I can give him this. <gasps> oh my God, Julian, is this what I think it is? Yeah, it is. <gasps> Sean are getting married. Well, first I have to ask him. Um, 
But that would require him speaking to me, so... So when are you going to ask him? Uh, when we get over this hump. Whenever that is. You know what? It'll pass. Sean is a little salty right now. We'll give it a day or two and things will be fine. Yeah, I hope so. <laughs> Finally some really good news! <laughs> <laughs> Are you gonna act like you don't know me, Scott? I don't. You can pretend all you want. I know there's something between us. Nancy, I hate you. I will always hate you. Just accept it. Why? What did I do that was so wrong? Are you serious? Do you even hear yourself? Scott, listen to me. I love you. I've never been so sure of anything in my life. I know you and I were meant to be together. Let me tell you something, Nancy. I wasn't sure until this very moment, but you need some help. Help? I need help? What about you, Scott? Did you need help when you were between my legs making love to me? That was not love. Okay, that was out of anger and contempt. And I wish to God I had never did it. Oh, but you did. You sure couldn't fuck that drunk-ass wife of yours. Her mouth was too busy wrapped around a shot glass. Alright, look, I'm not gonna tell you again. Stop talking about my wife, or so help me out. Or so help me what? What are you gonna do, Scott? Hit me? Is that what kind of man you are? Punk bitch. Hit me then. Go ahead, big man, hit me. Oh, that was for Selena. You deceitful, conniving bitch. You're gonna regret this. The both of you. Don't speak.